Yo guys, it's up Shadow here and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. Alright, before we go and uh, erect another solar collector today, we will uh, probably, as I said last time, increase our industrial capacity a little bit because in my opinion the uh, creation speed of uh, um, general uh, everything is too slow so that's what we're gonna fix today because you know every once in a while i want something done quickly and then it would be nice to get a few more of these uh, or at least one more of these uh, assemblers going so that's what we're gonna do um yeah also weird thing that happened with the last video when i uploaded it first it didn't have any of my voice in it for some reason and i it's weird first i thought i made a mistake while editing you know i accidentally maybe deactivated the the track that had my voice in but that wasn't the case i played the file that i uploaded on my computer had all the voice in it and everything and then i uploaded the same file again and magically the voice was in it this time and then I realized that in the other video, not only the voice was cut out, but also um, the intro and outro music. So I assume that YouTube did some weird copyright flagging and automatically removed um, audio, essentially. Although that makes no sense, because normally when, when YouTube does that, it mutes... Um, the whole thing you know if you have copyrighted music you can basically if if for example if you have copyrighted music that is really 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 badly copyrighted because there's like levels um you can choose to mute that track in your video and then it basically tries to drown out just the music but it, it also takes a little bit of everything surrounding with it but yeah, it was almost like a complete audio track besides the game audio was away. It was really weird. It could be that maybe while uploading there was something broke and one of the audio tracks, or rather two of the audio tracks didn't get... Um, oh no, wait. I think that my voice is always on the same line in the editor as the... Uh, um, the, the music for the intro and outro is so there it is possible that while uploading it just completely cut out that track but then it would make no sense that the actual intro and outros were completely cut as well not just the music it was not visible so i still have the feeling it was a weird youtube thing maybe they were testing a new um uh what was it is it called like new algorithm to get rid of copyrighted material you never know with, with YouTube when it comes to things like that. They're always up to something, aren't they? Okay. Actually, we already have two assemblers. I didn't quite realize. Oh, yeah, we do. Um, well, and we'll just make two more. That's fine. Uh, I think we're just going to plant a T-junction here. Um, I'm just going to get myself a few um, things here. That are needed to make such a T-junction. Uh, nah, hold on. Gonna pause it real quick. Uh, a bunch of that. There we go. Hopefully that's enough for, to make a T-junction. Oh, wait. Now we have pretty much... There we go. Hopefully that will work. Let's see. Of course. Alright, let's make the T-junction. There we go. Energy low. There you go. That's better. Okay, uh, let's just put that back in. There. So. Um, also, I'm <laughs> I've been playing another game recently that uh, kind of made me wish that space engineers had a few more things in it believe me or had a few different things in it i was playing a little bit of satisfactory recently if you don't know what that is uh, that is basically a first person survival game calling it survival game is 
I think it's wrong because there's no n real survival mechanic in it. Because you don't have hunger, you don't have oxygen, at least what I've seen so far. Um, basically, you're getting sent onto a planet as an engineer and your goal is to basically harvest resources there, right? And it's kind of close, actually, to um, uh, Factorio, but from a first-person perspective, which is kind of interesting. So you basically, you, you start to develop basic technologies on the planet and then you, um, you know, you, when you get like new technologies, you upgrade your factories and you set up these complex systems of like conveyor belts and tubes and everything. And it is so much fun to build because the building system in that game is actually quite nice and intuitive, I would say. And it's really quick to to really you know whip up a, a factory that does things and it's also really satisfying to see like um products rolling over a conveyor belt and you can really see the mass of items that gets transported from one thing to another and it's just uh it's it, i i was i again i often wish i could smash games together and make like a combined super game and my gods like space engineers and satisfactory i would love that because the quote-unquote problem with satisfactory at least that i have is that the world of satisfactory and i don't think they have plans to change that is um predetermined so it is a designed world you play on so it's always the same even though it's so far as I have seen it, it's quite huge, so lots to explore. But could you imagine something like that on like a randomly on randomly generated planets and always finding more planets? That would be insane. But then again, I have the feeling there might be problems doing stuff like that. Oh, but again, I wish I could just magically wave a wand around and make games. Uh, combine with each other seriously okay so um let's now add four speed modules and i think two power modules is what we added if i see this correctly yeah okay let me grab the modules and i cannot wait for freaking immortal empire so just i think was it today or yesterday and the new trailer hit with one of the new lords that is coming out and it, it's just fantastic, especially because, uh, like, when Immortal Empire to, from, for Total Warhammer um, releases, they're basically gonna um, also release a bunch of DLCs that are all focused around the Chaos Factions. And that's my favorite faction, just from a lore perspective. And on the tabletop, I actually played Chaos. That was my main faction that I played, next to the Wood Elves. And... Yeah, I'm really happy because uh, I think, yeah, again, today or yesterday, I think it was, they released a new trailer for Festus, which is a nasty, like a, a servant of Nurgle. So he's like a plague. Uh, well, basically, he was an apothe apothecary that turned evil. And now he's brewing like evil potions and is uh, experimenting on people. He's a really nasty character. And they... Uh, seeing that guy in in a game like that in 3d because i have the model i have um, him as a model it's on my shelf somewhere maybe i'll put a little photo in because i'm actually quite quite happy with how he looks um yeah it, it, he looks really cool in game I'm, i cannot wait to play that seriously man and it comes out basically when I, when I come back from holiday, like on August 23rd, I come back like on August 14th, so I have like a week to adjust. And then, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna hit and I'm gonna be freaking gone for... <laughs> I wish I could take another holiday for like, <laughs> for that duration, but hey, that's, uh, that's another problem. Friend of mine suggested I should should be sick just for that time frame. Hmm. <laughs> I think it would be very very awkward to do so, but uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, so modules almost done. Hmm. Are we missing computers? Oh my, that's bad. 
Uh, let's make a few thousand then. Come on. That should be done. It always says I, it, it's withdrawing computers, or does it say it cannot? Oh, cannot. There we go. Cannot withdraw computers, it said. Maybe if I would read, it would, uh, it would be clear to me. But there you go. Okay, that's a second one set up. So I think they're all on... Are they not on co cooperative mode, these things? Oh, okay, the others are. So this one is going to be on cooperative mode. And this one is, yeah? There we go. Yeah, now they're doing it. Great. So that's good. So while we have that going, let me just put a few more things into the uh, the queue here. Um, you know, some of these basic components that we always need. There. Excellent. So that's done. That's nice. Little upgrade there. Next, um, since that has has the potential, no, not the potential, the guarantee of uh, drawing more power, we should probably um, focus on uh, plopping up another solar panel thingy. Also, there was a good comment on uh, how I could have solved this as well, and I think that's my my old man brain um, not thinking of it. But technically, I could have put a hinge here. And then just put a pipe here and then just angled it up perfectly like that. I think the problem with that is, well, I would have to put, I think, another hinge here and then a hinge head on there and then snap them together. I think that works or I can do it with merge blocks as well, I believe. But I think I always, like, avoid these things if I can. Because I still don't trust um, <laughs> hinges and, and rotors. Because when I started playing this game, basically putting a hinge or a rotor on something it was almost always a death sentence. Because it would explode at one point. You just didn't know exactly when, but it definitely would explode. So maybe that's my 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 old school brain working there telling me do not do this this is dangerous you know clang and stuff yes so uh yeah <laughs> but it was like it was a good idea it would have looked way better i suppose um right let me um i, I kind of wanted to uh put on uh, another ramp up here just so we can start with that and when we have that I'll put up the next solar collector or whatever we want to call it. And then we'll have to hook that up. And I think after that, we shall take a look at our hydrogen resources, how much we have collected so far. And uh, yeah, uh, then I think we will continue with our dropship thingy. Because, uh, yeah kind of want to get a little bit of a of a move on with that at least before I go on to ho well it probably will happen after the holidays then actually because this is the last recording I'll do before of the holidays I really didn't have any time to pre-record stuff it was quite busy the last few weeks I do have to say so yeah I'm gonna be like on a two-week break Maybe I'll put up a video from Wacken Open Air if I get the time. It would be kind of funny. You know, like a little look around the festival area. A few little snippets like that. That would be kind of funny, I guess. But yeah, we'll see. Right, yeah. That will pretty much smoothly arrive the top here. I'm kind of happy with that. It wasn't really planned like this. Or I wasn't 100% sure it would line up. But it looks like it pretty much does. Good thing I didn't use the the more uh, steeper um, slopes. Otherwise, we would have had a little bit of a... Well, we could have just put more straight blocks in then, you know. But yeah, that's pretty pretty good. And now from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice, and we're on. And then up here... 
I might also put like the, the living quarters up here, you know, have a nice view from up here. And then a solar collector next to it. Oh yeah, something like that. Now let me just weld a few more of these so I can get my inventory a bit emptied out. And then we'll add some important components and start building up that secondary... No, not secondary. What, what uh, number is this rotor? That's the fourth. There's like secondary... Primary, secondary, ter tertiary, tertiary. Is there even a word for the fourth one? Quatri quatriary? I'm pretty sure logically that must be the word, but I don't think it's ever used because you never go that much into weird, into detail like that, I suppose. When you use that word, I mean. Okay, uh, let me gather all of these. Right, now I'll have to uh, do a little bit of uh, spying again, because I always forget how I do these properly. Okay, so we'll have an advanced rotor, but not that one. That one. Then we need conveyors, which we already have. We need a hinge. That's the base. Hinge with a Y, of course. Uh, right. Oh, add it. There it is. Okay, and then four conveyors up. I think that should be fine. We'll have to see if, um, if that's high enough so it doesn't crash into the, uh, you know, into this part here. Because it has quite a, uh, a width to it, this solar panel stuff. But I guess it could probably just work out. Okay, so we have that. Then we go with a conveyor and two, conveyor two, conveyor two. Okay. Oh yeah, they're yellow because there's nothing at the end of it. Right. I was kind of kind of confused there. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Conveyor. There we go, and then we have to do these reinforced conveyors. I really like the look of them. So that's two of those. Uh, back to the conveyor. Deactivate the T key because it's only gonna annoy me. There. Oh, good. Beautiful. <laughs> Very beautiful indeed. All right. Um, another round of that, I think. Ooh, okay, I have the feeling we're gonna run into some collision problems here. Um, mainly we're gonna run into the problem that yeah, solar panel that go downwards will totally not be able to go through here. Ah. Awkward. Now, it probably works like on... Let's see, how far does it work? It works definitely on this. It probably also works on the second one. The third one is the issue. So I wonder if we make this one here just a smaller one. Or if we leave it out completely. Wait, let me think about this. If the hinge lowers itself down, is there any way it... The problem is it really comes into the way of you walking, right? If I put it like that. So I have the feeling I'm gonna make this particular one over here this one is just gonna be a smaller one you know just a tiny little collector essentially just gonna have it like this solar panels like here oh again wow that was quick it felt like just a minute ago i filled up but apparently that was well maybe like 10 minutes ago normally it's about like that uh, here you go. Okay. 
Uh, okay, and now the oxygen farms. Obviously, there's gonna be one here. But I'm like, right now I'm thinking I'm just gonna, since this is gonna be a little bit of a special one, because it's a little bit smaller, we might just add these on the side as well. Just like that. It's like a tiny collector. <laughs> I suppose. Well, yeah, let's just do it like that. Also, um, it's gonna be easier if I name the parts right now, since right now they're actually in red, so I can quite clearly see which one they are. Now, I just have to check. Um, there is a group called Solar Rotors. There we are. So I'm gonna have to add this to it. And then the solar panels, right? And also the um, the oxygen farm. So I'm gonna add these as well. It's three farms? Yeah, that makes sense. And here come the solar panels, all the incomplete ones. I cannot quite go for the color. Also not for the number because it's kind of like a weird internal number thing that's going on with this game. It basically counts up the numbers, but if you delete one, then it, the next one is going to be a higher number based on the last number that were, was placed down. But yeah. Okay, so we have one, two, three... Let's see. One, two... Three... Shouldn't there be four solar panels? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Save the group. Is it already gonna adjust? No, of course it's not, because it's not uh, finished yet. Duh. Okay. Let me start uh, putting things together then. Our mini panel. Well, mini panel. Our mini tower, rather. Okay. Uh, let's start at the top with these three. We have uh, still enough solar panels, by the by. Or is that something we need to make? Yeah, we still have uh, over a thousand of them. So I think that's still good. Still quite good, I'd say. Alright. Oh, Jesus. I already saw myself dangling lifeless in the, in space, essentially. That was close. Righty. That's done. That's done. I mean, that's not gonna give us much energy, but hey, every little bit counts, I feel. You know, if you can squeeze in a solar panel here or there, that makes things just a little bit more efficient. Just a tiny bit. Ow. <laughs> Wow! Before I was really afraid that that would, uh, was, would happen, and now I didn't see it coming. That was weird. Okay. Hello, my uh, previous body pack. Uh, there's like a button that should that is kind of missing, in my opinion. Just a take all button. I'm pretty sure there might be a, a um, you know, a. Uh, shortcut that does that but still okay good these are done let's add this 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 and this to the build planner and let's go also quick check there's at least one uh light glowing so it's between 25 and 49.999999% 999 indeed I think we and it's on all three I believe right so I think we have oh okay no it's only on one hmm so we we do not fill them up as quickly as we'd like to but that was a problem that was very clear we would have to um, add a whole bunch of more generators if we want to fill them quickly and efficiently, I suppose. But yeah. Um, we'll check the uh, 
the amount that we have later. And now the sun is coming up, our solar panels are starting to get the love of the sun again. Lovely. Exactly what I need. Um, let's already add the next few blocks into our build planner. Since we are already finished with two of them. Now obviously the ship is kind of in the way here for the solar panel a tiny bit. But later during the day the, uh, the angle will be good enough I think. Because if I'm not mistaken the sun is going to go like over there. Like this. Yeah. Then go back down. Well somewhere over there I think. Like this. And then you can already see it's kind of a tiny bit of it is already in the sun. And technically the others are also getting power, so that's fine. Cool, that's done. Now let me see that I can get both inch parts. Yes. Conveyor tube, conveyor tube, conveyor tube, conveyor tube. And then both parts here. And as soon as that rotor is done, it should start uh, aligning at least semi-correctly. And I mean, we'll realize very quickly if there's going to be a problem during the alignment, you know, when, uh, when it's going to crash into the walkway. But I don't think it will. Uh, is everything good? Why is it yellow? Oh, that's why. Hmm. Oh. Missing something. That's why. Chi. Go. Good. Now it's green. Excellent. Okay. Now the question is, is it already aligning? Should it already be aligning? Or is there an error happening? Also... You are in a weird alignment, my friend. I'm not quite sure why. Pretty sure you should be aligned differently, because two of your solar panels are not in a good way. Or, well, the, the underside. Um, let's see. Solar rotors. Uh, there we are. We also have to add the... Did we also add the hinge to it? Oh yeah, we did, huh? And this is the other hinge we have to add. Is it... Yes, it's moving. Okay, this is moving. Good. And I think this one just moved as well. Did it? Yeah, it's moving. Okay, okay. Everybody's moving. Everybody's adjusting. Good. Very nice. Almost like a little family of solar panels. It's like the mommy solar panel, the daddy solar panel, the uh, sun solar panel that's already grown up, and then the uh, way younger child solar panel back here. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's good. Um, so power increased at least a little bit. Now we should actually already get the uh, charging again, right? Probably. Fully recharged in four hours. Excellent. So that's going on. Also, um, how about... Light empty and only show me the ones here. Yeah, we're just gonna move a few components over just so we have a little bit of an overview um, if we're short on anything. But I think we're pretty good actually. Let's see, that's good, that's good, that's acceptable, that's acceptable as well. Yeah, we'll make them on demand. That's good. Batteries are still good as well. Mm, okay, maybe some metal grids and bulletproof glass we could make. Sure, let's make some of those. And, uh, hmm. Yeah, very nice. Alright, so let me actually get some uh, steel plates while we finish this out. 
Um, next time, which is, again, about in two weeks' time, unless I find at the weekend a few more hours to put in a few, like, I almost wanted to say bonus episodes, um, but you know what I mean. Pre-records. Um, but most likely uh, it's gonna be like two weeks time until I do this again. But yeah, I need a little bit of a... Uh, need a little bit of a break. A little bit of, of crazy festival time and then a little bit of actual holiday. <laughs> because I can tell you this is not gonna be... It's not gonna be uh, very relaxing the first week. Especially because... We're gonna go like one day earlier than normal because this year there's like a we we bought tickets to the uh, normally it's from Thursday Thursday Friday Saturday or when the bands are playing and there's like a also a Wednesday show and normally if I remember correctly they always used to have like the like newcomer bands on Wednesday there was like a, um, a contest called Metal Battle I think which basically has bands from different countries. And then the winners, or like a few of the winners, play on Wednesday. Or I think it was like that. And now, on Wednesday, since, uh, you know, it wasn't happening the last few years, so they stacked really up on Wednesday this time. And basically, I think of the six bands that are playing on Wednesday, five of them I want to see. So that's why... We, and not just me, uh, the, the friends I'm going with all said as well, yeah, we want to see these. We're gonna go Wednesday, or um, actually Tuesday, we're driving up, then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday driving back. And then on Monday we're gonna catch the flight uh, to Sweden, and Jesus Christ, it's gonna be... Uh, it's gonna be a rough week, the first one, not much of sli uh, sleep I'm gonna have, I can tell you already. But it's gonna be amazing. I've been looking forward to this uh, because, my god, I haven't been to a, like, a concert in years now. It's weird to have to say it like that. It sounds still weird, even though I know it has its reasons, but still. Ugh. Whew, okay. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. And again, if there's not gonna be any bonus or, or re-recorded episodes, um, I hope I'll see you again in about two weeks time and uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time and uh take care